Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Well, are you ready? It's time. Fresh and organic Bible study. This is your Bible Bistro on the interweb, Daily Dose Radio. And it's today, friends, the very first episode of the second volume of Daily Dose Radio. And we begin with episode 1, Psalm 1, and verse 1. Let me read to you my translation. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the way of the wicked, nor does he stand in the way of the sinner, nor does he sit in the seat of scorners. As I said yesterday in the introduction, Psalm 1 really sets the stage for a lot of what comes later in the Psalms. I mean, almost like the uh, the, the major theme of the Psalm is the difference between the man that's blessed and the man that's not. Or in Psalm 1, as we look at it, between the blessed man and the wicked man. Because we have the blessed man described in verses 1, 2, and 3. We have the wicked man described in verses 4, 5, and 6. But we have the wicked man alluded to in verse 1. So these themes follow through the, the Psalter. As a matter of fact, I made a very important emphasis while I was teaching volume 1 that we looked at every time we found this word blessed. Sometimes you'll find it translated in your translation as happy or fortunate maybe or something like that. I don't know. But I, I love the translation blessed. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the way of the wicked. And there's the wicked. Same word that we have down in verse 4. So the wicked is contrasted with the blessed. So that And that's a, that's a thing that happens in the Psalter so many times. We have these lovely compare and contrast statements. And, of course, the nature of the literature, because it's poetic, is just feeds right into that and allows for it so often because we have these uh, couplets and quatrains and triplets and things that kind of build that sort of static tension between the verses themselves. So here we have the blessed man and the wicked man. What are we going to find out about him? Well, let's look today, beginning at the blessed man. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the way of the wicked. So the wicked has a way. And the blessed man doesn't walk in that way. He walks in something different. And we're going to find out what that is in verse 2 and 3. He doesn't stand in the way of the sinner, nor does he sit on the seat of the scorners. Now you'll notice that we have three different words used to describe the wicked man. He's wicked, he's a sinner, he's a scorner. And the blessed man does not do something. It doesn't describe what he does yet, but it tells us that he's blessed. And we know that that is in direct contradiction to the wicked. So we know that there's a difference between the blessed and the wicked. The wicked have a way. The wicked has a seat. So the blessed man doesn't stand in or doesn't walk in the way of the wicked. He doesn't stand in the way of the sinner. So he's not proceeding towards that way. He's not leaving blessedness and going towards what the wicked do. So the wicked have a way and the righteous have a way. That's another theme that we find throughout the Psalter, the way of the wicked, the way of the Lord, the way of the blessed, the way of the righteous, the way of the congregation. So those are lots of ways that we find in the Psalter we find it here in Psalm 1. So we have the parent, compare and contrast between the wicked and the righteous. We have the way of described, and we're going to tomorrow look at the way of the blessed. It's fully described for us in verses 2 and 3. And then the way of the wicked will be fully described for us, or the result of the wicked will be described for us in 4, 5, and yeah, in 4 and 5. So notice that he doesn't walk, he doesn't stand, and he doesn't sit. Let me, before I run out of time, comment on that idea of sitting in the seat of. To sit in the seat of somebody, and in the ancient world, meant that you were the master of that thing. So if you were sitting in the seat of the Pharisees, you were a Pharisee, a master of Israel. If you were sitting in the seat of a rabbi, then you were the chief 
of that group of people learning the Word of God. If you were sitting in the seat of someone, it meant you had the authority over that group and whatever it was identified you. So you're not a master then. The blessed man is not a master of evil because he's not sitting in the seat of the evil, right? We're not mastering wickedness, right? No, we're following the Lord. And it's the Lord's way that we're following, which does not include the seat of the scorner. It doesn't include the way of the wicked or the way of the sinner. So we'll find out tomorrow what that is. I hope you'll join me as we continue to look at Psalm 1, beginning tomorrow in verses 2 and 3 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.